I saw a while back you commented on a video on X of people walking by homeless people in the street who were uh, acting, I guess, crazy or something like that. And you said uh, normal people don't just walk by like that. But having lived in a, or sane people don't walk by like that. And having lived in a city, I walk by like that because you just don't know what else to do. Okay. What the I think what I said, because this would be my experience, is that people stepped over bodies. Yes. And that was occurring in San Francisco. And I'm saying that that's not normal for a culture to allow that for young children. And they are to get addicted to, to drugs that will ruin their life forever or kill them, right? Or both. And, and I've seen that happen, right? And so the wanton disregard of our own youth is a symptom of something much more serious that has to be fixed or we will, or, and thus we are collapsing, right? Right? It's because we, we've gutted ourselves of our most valuable resource. That's one way of looking at it. So what's the question again? What does a sane person do when walking by that scene? other than when what does a same person do walking over a kid's body he goes to whoever he pays to govern or represent him and says this is not okay sir this is this is unconscionable this is wrong this is idiotic this is this means that we don't have a civilization this means that we don't have a culture this means that we've degenerated so far that that's not obvious to you, right? Now, I'm talking about the people in San Francisco because that's what I know. But if, if you're referring to the homeless mentally ill, that's a totally different question, right? And the, so the first order of business is to make it stay safe, right? I mean, you see people that don't know, don't know any better and they go up and they, they start talking to a psychotic with a knife in his hand. I mean, the guy's psychotic, clearly, and out of his mind. Plus, he has a knife in his hand. Th then you go to the, you know, you go to whoever's governing and say, "Hey, our city's not safe. The first job of government is to at least keep us safe. And if they can't do that, then what are they? What are they? Just a, a, a an accretion, a barnacle, a, a, a something growing on the organism of life, extracting what they can for themselves and their cronies? That's that's wrong." And, but you don't have to worry, it will destroy itself, and it is. So, so again, by knowing one's self, one knows one's world, right? And if the world that you're living in is dying, or, or, and there's not a treatment for it, it's gonna die, it's gotta die, then it's different than if it can be uh, resuscitated. Forgive the medical metaphors, but, so, so, but in terms of stepping over children you know, in the streets, that's, yeah, that's, that's as insane as you can get. I, you know, the only thing I can think of is the other thing that would be napalming babies or young children. Uh, and, and, you know, idiocy know, it knows no, no common sense boundaries. But, but have, things not, have things not always been like that? No. I mean, there are times of great peace. There was 800, you know, 700 years in Spain where the Jews, the Muslims, the Christians all together, you know. No wars. Really? Yeah, there was no war in the last, uh, you know, I, I noticed it because it was like a real exception in my life. There was a period with, with no war, but uh, there was a leader who didn't want war. And instead what they do is they pander to the worst parts of people and they, they make everything worse for political gain or for financial gain, which is even more uh, unspeakably uh, wrong. And so, yeah, you gotta know, your, you gotta know yourself. By, and that means knowing the world, the world that is forming you as we speak. Now, this is a very, very peculiar circumstance in the, 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 these cities of, of uh, unspeakable wealth, right? The common folks, the meek, as Jesus called them, the ones that will inherit the earth, it looks just fine. It look, it look, every, I, the, the squirrels and the birds and the, and, and the you know, crows you know they seem to know when, when you know when it's going to get cold and they behave differently 
but they aren't complicated with all our neurotic uh, constructs, concepts, so they can see more simply, more clearly. And that's one of the reasons for the, this, this whole uh, uh, project is to get people to see that, that simplicity is okay. It's great. And naturalness is, is the way. And we get tied up in all these knots because it is, you know, alarm and alert because, you know, literally the building's on fire. People are dying. But that's only in one part of the, I mean, for now. But it, it should, am I going to say there's no danger? Absolutely not. And I'm going to say that your first priority has to be the, the well-being of some, some kid or some uh, lunatic on the street with a knife. No, not at all. Your first order of business is to protect your, yourself and your loved ones. But you're not going to do that by, by stealing money from the, from the, the or unions, right? That's not protecting anybody. That's not, you know, creating chaos is not helping. Uh, fomenting division is not helping. And uh, what kind of government do we really have at the, at, the, at the level? Let's say New York or San Francisco. Why would we use the word government? Because they administer the bureaucracies? And so, so since I study ancient civilizations, and 200 years before Christ, I could say authoritatively, people were complaining about too much government. Right? Too much government. If you have to see, governing a nation is like cooking a small fish. You have to do it wisely, intelligently, sensitively. It's nuanced. It's it's not easy. It's an art, and it requires highly developed people. But we've turned that on our head, and, and we've got a government where you'd have to be insane and not very smart to even go in politics because it's broken. Right? And so again. To know what to do next, you have to know where you are. And depending on where you are, and how, especially in, in how you look at it, what's changed? What's changed for us in the, in the industrialized West is we've run out of the, the, the credits that we got from whatever we contributed to winning World War II. And I noticed that we, we, we never mentioned the Russian sacrifice in that same struggle. And now we're, we're supporting, you know, well, I don't want to get into all of that. So, so yeah, you got, you got to have thoughtful people who care. And if, if, if what we do is we elect people who are just going to lie in our pockets on the side, which is what's going on, then this is what we get. You know, and so you want to ask a question again and I'll, I'll give it another shot. No, that's, that's good and that's helpful. All right.